Freshly cooked pork chops, get your freshly cooked pork chops here. One pound pork chop, one pound pork chop, come and have a look. One pound pork chop, come and have a look. <laughs> hey guys, you're watching Super One and Only. My name is AJ, welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Medieval City. We've got a couple of interiors I want to do today. Ooh, the void of emptiness. Oh, it's gone. Uh, we've got a couple of interiors we want to do today. Butcher's interior and the stable interior. I'd like to get both of them cracked out today. We won't worry about any outside area here because this is probably going to be uh, the main sort of road leading through. Well, that'll be an alleyway, I think, because the main road needs to come around this way to get the uh, front of the bakery in. So this will be an alleyway, which I think we could do something cool with because we could have, like, uh, the old poop throwing window. You know, in these days, they'd throw their, like, um, uh, toilet pots out of the window. So we could do some like brown splashes on the floor or something like that. I don't know. We'll have to figure something out. That's like a future thought, future detail. Let's turn the shaders off. I'm in a great mood today. You know them days where you just wake up and you're like, yep, I'm ready. I had a bit of computer troubles before we started. And uh, I was like, I don't care. I'm just in one of those moods. I don't care what, what happens. We're, we're just going to have fun. Let's grab a oak block here to get down a uh, floor or ceiling we should say in here uh this one so these interiors shouldn't really be too difficult uh upstairs is always i find upstairs ever so boring to do i don't know if it's just me being unimaginative but like when it comes to doing an upstairs in like a house of this size you just put a bedroom in there don't you you know it's like fair enough but the bedrooms are always the same now part of that is because this is uh minecraft 1.7 isn't it? And in 1.7, we've only got the red bed. I mean, if we done, uh, if we used a more up-to-date version, set plank, we would have like all the different coloured beds and stuff like that, uh, which would be cool. You know, that would give a little bit of diversity. But I don't think in the medieval world it would even suit that well because some of these, uh, some of the beds in the newest version are a little bit too modern for us, aren't they? And we're trying to keep this all a natural. So the shop part first. Let's put a wall up here so we sort of separate the two areas out we'll grab a door to go in there so then he's he's sort of shop part is its own area we want to have a wall behind here with a load of a pork chops on or maybe even some um some furnaces just in view as well that could be cool to cook up the pork choppies let's do like four and then we'll have a wall here we'll use a uh, spruce so it's a little bit darker like how we done with the bakery and then we'll get some item frames And we'll get some food. We'll get some raw pork chops. We'll get some cooked pork chops. We'll get some... I'll use ooh, hiccups beef as well. Or steak. Um, just so it looks like a little bit different um, on the boards there. Uh, what else would a, would a butcher have? A butcher would probably have chicken, wouldn't they? And that's about all the meats. We're not going to have fish. We can do like an actual fish area if you want to do that. So um, what's the best way to do this? Like, do we do it like that, and that, like that, and that, and like that, and that? Yeah, we do. But what we're going to do is we're going to put the raw ones up here. So we have the raw one of them, the raw one of them, and the raw one of them. And then I'll take those bottom ones away. Maybe I could put a slab on there. It'll make this area a little bit tight to get through. But like a little countertop on there. Carpet. Uh, I think I'll just use grey just so it doesn't stand out too much, but it just takes away that cobble look. It looks a little bit more like a counter. Ooh, is that going to pop those off? Oh, I really like that. Hold on, we better put that on the um, on the baker over here as well. Oh, he, he's got wood anyway. I could do that though. Yeah, nice little touch. So, it's made it thinner, but I think a counter is quite good to be able to cut up the meat on here. Yeah, there's your prime cut of pork chop. Freshly slaughtered out back. Wonderful. Torches. We'll, uh, I think just a single torch in here would do. We'll put one on there as well. Keep it nicely lit. Uh, we'll have, in here is going to be his living quarters, isn't it? We'll put a torch in between the two lights. That'll look nice. A torch in the middle there and a torch in the middle of those two doors. So they're nicely all centered. That should be enough light in here. Just close the door because it's getting chilly. Staircase. I need a way to get upstairs. So I think we'll probably end up taking this torch away and putting the staircase in there. Maybe putting it backwards though. So it's not like right as you come in the door. 
stair. We might as well keep... Well, no, let's use spruce. We'll use spruce. And it doesn't need to be a wide staircase because it's not too tall of a ceiling. That should be plenty enough, right? And uh, I think I'll probably block this off as well. Like that. We can leave it open. Well, I could put a door on it, I suppose. Stair. Just to make it look a little bit prettier. Like a stair at the uh, a door at the bottom of the stairs. I've got a door at the bottom of my stairs. I don't know how many how common that is, but my's old, old. My house is old, so ah ah. <laughs> that could be a problem. Uh, we'll have to uh, not bother with that then. I might put a slab up there though, just so it looks like a doorway. I think I can still get through, right? No, I can't. Okay, I have to just not be there then. All right, so we can get upstairs and get downstairs. Still looks nice and neat down here. We'll have a, a table on this side. Like, like a... No, I might have the table on... No, I might have, no I'm going to have the table on this side. Stairs. Uh, I'll use dark oak for the furniture in here, I think. A slab. Oh, no. Uh, fence. Carpet. Bunk, bunk. Bunk, bunk. So he's got his little sort of dining area here. Maybe we could put down uh, signs. Put those on there. Always, it always just finishes that off. Makes that look really neat. So he's got a little bit of a, a, a chair down here that he can relax in. Um, I don't know what we what do we need down here. Something needs to go there for sure. Even if it's just like another little table like that, just something needed to be there. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, I haven't really got room for a rug because I can't put carpets uh, under here, can I? No, because of the sign. Ah, but I could just use full wool blocks. That could be how we do it. Let's go with dark grey and brown. I think that's a little bit... I, I usually use light grey, isn't it? For a little rug down here. Yeah, that still works, doesn't it? That sort of just dresses that up nicely. Hmm... Paintings. I'd like to get a little flower pole or something down in here too. Too big. Too big. Perfect. 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 Yep, yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. Can I do a little welcome mat down here? Like a little brown mat as you walk in. You can wipe your feet. Yeah, tables and chairs. He's got all of his cooking stuff uh, over there. I think we're good for down here. Let's get a, a flower pot. And what should we, what flower should we put in this one? A cactus. I haven't got a cactus yet. I think I'll put it in the corner. Yeah, we got a little cactus there. He's uh, he's travelled. He's got a cactus. He bought the cactus back from when he visited this place, which has always reminded me of cactuses. This one, it's like a desert, and this is like the orange sand, and it's like a really hot day. You've got the sun up here, and it's like a beaming orangey yellow sky and then all of these are cactuses with like little spines on them so he went here he took a picture i don't know how he took a picture because <laughs> no cameras in medieval time on his uh on his iphone no he he painted it they had paints back then obviously and uh, and he bought back a souvenir which is still alive now maybe that cactus is actually that cactus right there awesome <laughs> what a sidetrack let's uh get down these interior ones we'll keep the logs up here like that uh, what do I want to do with this bit that one that one and that one I think something like something like that is fine we'll get a ceiling on top of here like so so are you guys in as good as a mood as me I don't know if you can I don't know if anybody could be in a good I don't know why I'm in a good mood the weather's terrible where I am at the moment. It's raining outside right now. I had a thunderstorm last night. So it's not like, like the weather's making me happy. It's just, I don't know. Can I put a slab there? It's just, I don't know. It's just a good mood. Day off work. Been a busy week. Nope, doesn't work. Uh, and I'm just, I'm just ready to go. 
I might use a cobblestone wall up here. I haven't got any cobblestone up here, so it's not going to blend into anything or, or do any wrong. There you go. A little banister so we can't fall down. This can be his a bedroom. Uh, I'm going to use wool because the oak is already walled over here anyway. Uh, door. I like having doors on the interiors to these buildings. I'll put it like that so it looks better from this side. Torch. I'll just put one above the door, I think. That should be plenty enough light in here. Little bed. It's only a little bedroom that he's got here. Or maybe this should be a storeroom. And we have... This is his bedroom. So we don't have much room anywhere, do I? It's a bit of a tight... Uh, a tight interior up here. But I think that would be better as a little storeroom off to the side with some chests in. Oh, that's... that's I like that one. He's a good reading fan. Um, we might do a different type of table. Use an upside down stair. We don't do that too often. So I'll flick that upside down for, for a, a little bedside table there. I think that looks pretty neat. Uh, I'll put a little chair up here as well. Maybe a, maybe one like this. And a carpet on top. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's like a little... This is like a uh, planning table and stuff like that for whatever he does. <laughs> whatever this chap does when he's not butchering pigs out of his back garden. He's got a nice view of his pigs. He, he, can, uh, he can see how they're doing on, make sure they've got water and cleaned out. What other views does he have? Oh, he has a lovely view out. Well, sort of lovely view of the cherry tree there. Yeah, all right. And then in his store, ah, torches. I've got no light in here. We have a nice torch above the bed that he can blow out before he goes to bed. And I have one above there. And that's enough light. And then in here, we'll get some chests. Uh, I'm going to want the other type of chest as well. Just so I can stack them on top and stuff. That's cool. Yeah, there's a couple of cobwebs in here. He doesn't clean it out too often. Yeah, that looks nice and neat. A little bit of a storage closet for him. Right, that's one interior done. I'm happy with this. Butchers is now complete. If it's something nice, I know I don't do it on the city world. And we've got like no interiors done <laughs> on the main city world or the modern city world. But in these ones, because the buildings are more reasonably sized, I don't mind doing the interiors at all. Pick that. Yeah, I don't mind doing them. There's something nice about it. I do love this blacksmith. It's a really, really nice blacksmith. I wish we could do something better with that. With the glowstone for the forge, what we might do is use... Um, you know, red sand even looks better for the forge. Yeah, that looks like almost like lava, doesn't it? Now, I know I could turn fire spread off. It was a suggestion that a load of people um, asked for, or not asked for, told me that I could do. I know I can do it if I want to have actual fires in places, but I don't know. I sort of like having it all natural. So, on the inside here, let's take that door, put it that way, take that away, and put a stair on there. That just always gives a little bit more depth to it. Now, this is the storage for the horses. So I can put a, uh, I'm, I'll use a, no, I wouldn't use this one. We'll just put this down in here. So we need a load of hay, uh, some um, saddles hanging up, I think in item frames would be cool. Torches. I've got a load to do today, so I am building uh, a little bit faster than normal. That's neatly spread. On the floor here, I think that maybe some sort of stone floor would be better for us here. Instead of uh, wood. So if we went with, I don't know, gravel would work. Set gravel. Yeah, that looks nice. And then we'll get some hay. 
To get them facing some different ways like that we'll have another one in the corner here i can't get a little mezzanine level but it's not a barn so i shouldn't really be that upset about that so we've got that one and that one we'll have uh item frames hanging up on this wall just as you come in with some saddles what else do horses have or oh, maybe some horse armor Saddles, um, horse armor. I don't know, we'll use those two. Like a couple for the royal people if they need some. And then some just other sets in there. What else can I do down here? Uh, oh, cauldrons as like spare water buckets for the horses. I think that's a nice, sort of nice little collection. Let's have another look out here. What else will horses need? No, not much. Man, that looks cool. I really like the ground there and everything. Yeah, no, I think that's cool. A couple of cobwebs always adds a little bit more detail to an area. I like that one. And then one in the corner here. Just looks better, doesn't it? Looks better with some cobwebs on it. Not outside. All right, excellent. So, clear the inventory. We've got the uh, the barn part complete. Now we've got the main house. So we come through there. Hello, horsey. And inside, what room do we have? So I've already planned out where a staircase could probably, probably, probably or possibly go. And there, this is a that's big up here. This is like that could be a bedroom there on its own. That square. You know, I might be able to do a hallway with a couple of bedrooms. Now, that would be really cool. All right, I think we'll do that. Let's, uh, can I take that one away? Oh, I can. Excellent. Excellent. It's a, a tall ceiling downstairs as well, isn't it? A lot taller than normal. I think either one or two blocks taller than we, we normally have in these. That's because we've, we're sort of forced up, isn't it, on the outside. Right, so there's the interior. Uh, floor down. So uh, in this one, we do need an actual kitchen, I think. Because it's a, it's a big area. This is definitely going to house more than one person. This is going to be a, a family business, I think. Let's get this staircase down first. Stairs. I'll probably put them straight on top of them. Yeah, that's going to be cool. I think we're going to do like a, a thing upstairs like that. Uh, we won't put an actual wall on here, though. What we'll do is we'll grab some logs. And do it like that. With a fence. Stables are, are, are like pinnacle parts of the city, aren't they? So they need to have... They're, they're going to be a well-off people, which is why they've got a big house. Why they've got a nice sort of grand staircase as far as... This kind of, uh, you know, building is concerned. The size of the building is concerned. It's a, it is a large staircase. Uh, that goes there. I don't need to make a hole in that. Underside of here. Just put those in. That leads that up nicely. For the floor, I think we'll use cobblestone, obviously. Set. Cobble. Beautiful. Right furnace we'll have uh, a little seating area over here but nothing too much over here is going to be where the kitchen is we'll have a, a double range that's how well off these people are we'll have um what a nice sort of little counter style in here we'll use the smooth sandstone maybe that's a little bit modern of a design but we'll go with it carpet oops nice little wooden top beautiful i'm not going to worry about like ones that go above that is a very modern sort of you know cupboards above the the countertops here uh so we'll, we'll, we'll go with that is there anything that i can really do on the counters not if i've got carpet on it but no i don't think they I, I think we'll i don't like that one i don't like that one either i think we'll make it a little bit i think i'll do it like that 
I think that looping round in the sort of horseshoe was a little bit too much. Uh, we'll get a nice table though down here. I'm thinking about a slightly, slightly larger one than normal. Maybe like that. Um, carpet. Maybe we'll use grey for the top of this one. Could I get it in the middle? Yeah, I could. I do have enough room. Well, not in the middle, but just either by a block. And then stairs. Ah, I can't get through. <laughs> you could move the chair, I suppose. If I move the staircase back by one, I could. It'd still be tight, but you, you would be able to get through. We'll do that. Oh, can I can I get through? Yeah, I can. I can get through. Uh, I've deleted some blocks wrong. That's better. Excellent. Now we can get it through. That's all accessible. It's a bit dark down here now. Torch. Torch. I like them down here. I don't like them up there. All right, cool. Uh, little sort of table going along here. Longer one. Slab. Uh, maybe a maybe a plant in the corner there would be nice. Definitely got the uh, height for it. And trap doors. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, I can do a nice rug down here. We can go a little bit more expensive. Maybe use some green on this one. You might go, ooh, green. That's not expensive. Uh, any sort of coloured dye in this time would be would be uh, really nice. I tell you what, that's a nice combination. That's really nice together. Right, I think we're pretty good. Let's get some um, paintings on the wall just to fill up some of this space. I don't mind being a double wide one there. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Cool. We're good. Let's go upstairs. Now, this is where we've got a huge amount of room. Let's get a ceiling down first. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll do it the easy way, shall we? Replace air with plank. And replace air with plank. What's that doing there? Right. I'm going to need to uh, have some tidying up to do. We're all good underneath here. It's all tidy. Here, though, we'll put down that. Any other tidying up? No, we're pretty good, actually. Uh, so, let's get wool. I think I'll go up there. I can get rid of that one and that one. Uh, uh, I need those ones there because they go... Oh, no, they don't. Oh, excellent. I thought they would have been the exterior ones, but obviously that's when we... Ah. I was going to say, I thought we needed them. All right, we'll keep those ones then. That's fine. So, what I'm thinking, right, is... I'll use this one. He's putting a wall up there. And... One there, one there, and then making this into two separate bedrooms. Uh, this bedroom's slightly larger than that one. That's fine. That's just how it works out to be. And then maybe I should take this away. I think it'd be better if we had a couple of chests going along here. I've seen these in, in games, like chests going along the top of them. And then we'll have another wall on the back here, I think. Can I, I can't put a block there, can I? I won't be able to get down the stairs. Well, I might be able to put a slab there. If I could put a slab there, it'll be fantastic. Because I can put a wall on top of it. Ooh. I can. Excellent. That's because the ceiling's higher in this building compared to the last one. Like 
this. Just made another bedroom. Three bedrooms. Crazy. And then up here could be a bit of a, a landing. I mean, I could get another bedroom in here. We could go with... Um, let's get that wall back before I forget. Otherwise, we're going to fall down the side. We just have the wall on that side. I don't know. It would be, it'd be a small room. Now, I don't, I don't think we're going to. Right. Bed. And I know I've got to put um, doors on these. Like a kid's bedroom and it's got two beds in there. That's cool. Uh, we'll have bookcase. A couple like that. We'll have chests as a wardrobe. Go on up there. Uh, I can't really fit much on the floor. We'll get a little one of these little cute carpets. Uh, light grey, wasn't it? I think that's good. And then actual torches. We're going to need this throughout, so I'll put one there. That should be good. That's all we need for in that one. Uh, in this one, maybe we'll go with a different design. I'm thinking like this. And then... Like that, so it's more, so this is the master bedroom, so it's going to have a little bit more. We'll have a nice big bookshelf in here. Something like that with a slab on top. I think that looks neat. And, uh, get a little rug down here. Hee hee hee, I like it. Uh, let's get these doors on as well while we're here. Let's go with, now uh, we'll stick with this one. That one, and that one. Um, how am I going to cover that up? I suppose I don't really mind it, but if we just get the dark oak on top, maybe it'll just look like, look like a shadow underneath it. Uh, pot. Uh, flowers. Let's get three. Oh, three different coloured tulips. Uh, a red one, an orange one, and a pink one. Red one, pink one, orange one. Uh, that's nice. That's nice. Torch there. Uh, well, like that. How it sort of goes down. I would like a carpet on the end here, but I don't really know how well it would work, so I'm not going to bother because it's only two blocks wide. Uh, chest end there I have a double one there's a lot of people living here so at least one two three people so far we've got another bedroom over here to put in we'll just have a double but oh this this is definitely master bedroom this is a lot bigger isn't it i could almost fit another bedroom in there it's crazy crazy amount of people live here I suppose we could have like workers working here living here as well something like that Look. That's a lot of space to fill up. Maybe I'll put a table in here to fill up that space. Um, fence. And um, carpet. We'll do a brown one up here. We've got the hello phone. We've got the um, silver or the grey downstairs. Stair. There you go. Like a nice little table up there. I know it's not really the best place for a big table but just like that and uh, maybe i should drop it down to be that instead and then we'll have a planter in the corner like that just a little one on there um maybe a painting there would be all that we need painting yeah it's perfect perfect right i really like the white walls in here that's looking really cool door stick the door on there we must be like right out of time for this episode let's just quickly finish off something in here that's plenty enough light 
Uh, I don't know what to do in here. I mean, I'm out of ideas. Too much interior for one day. Uh, 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 uh. Nice big rug as he come up. But I mean, what could be there? I don't know. Do I have armor stands? I don't have armor stands in 1.7, do I know? Just brewing stands. So I thought maybe some armor stands there or Alright, uh stair and slab. Maybe uh you guys can leave some ideas in the comments section if there's uh something like more I don't know, unique or more clever that we can do up here. But for now I'll just put like a nice long curved table in there. Put that down there like that as well. I think it looks neater. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know what to do in here. I, it stumped me. It's a big area. We don't usually have this much room on the interiors, do we? We'll have big old King Kong on the inside. I just want a little one in the middle. There we go. There we go. Double. Yes, perfect. All right. You know, I don't know what to do up here. I'm going to leave it like this. I think it looks neat enough. And we're at the end of the episode. What a cracking episode, though. We've got two interiors completed in one episode. And uh, very different to each other. This has got loads of room. This is like, what? how many bedrooms was it in here? How many beds was it? One, two. Was it two up here? Yeah, two, three, four. Three, four, five. Yeah, five beds. Excellent. Like mum, dad, and a couple of kids and a worker or something like that. Or a lodger. Excellent. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel, if you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.